My friends, it's time to talk about everybody's favorite or not favorite poisonous bow, the lemon arc. Lemon arc, okay? Not the lemon arc. Not the French pronunciation. The West Yorkshire pronunciation. Lemon arc, all right? Let's get that out of the way first of all, right? Now then, what's all this? We're talking about the lemon arc and if it's a problem in the current sandbox. Now, I know that will always rustle some jimmies. Some jimmies have been rustled on Twitter. If you know, you know. Some people really love the lemon arc. Some people really hate it. This is it right here. It shoots poison arrows if you don't know. It has a 684 draw time. It is one of the hardest hitting bows in the game. In fact, it is the hardest hitting. And speaking of hitting, I need you to hit that like button. We're going for a thousand likes on this video. Can we hit that goal? Much love, subscribe as well, turn on notifications. Now, at the end of the video, I'm gonna give my opinion, my overall opinion. And I'm also going to have a suggestion that if, and it's a big if of course, if Lemonark needs some kind of nerf, what would that be, okay? But we're gonna go through everything. We're gonna go over the reason why this is even a conversation because Lemonark has been the same way that it is now, that it's always been since it's been in the game. This weapon has never been nerfed to my knowledge and has never been buffed. It doesn't have a catalyst. It is just what it is. Kind of reminds me of another offender in the current sandbox my most signature weapon, the Chaperone. And this is the first thing I want to go over. And I think it's better to have a more mature conversation about things like balance, right? And what am I getting at? Well, I'm getting at the fact that, so Chaperone is my weapon of choice. I'm, well, it's a weapon I'm famous for using since Destiny 1, since years ago, since time immemorial, okay? DFP and Chappie, like peanut butter and jelly, like you Americans call it. I'm not even, not even gonna go there, right? But, I said, as soon as Buckshot Shotguns got nerfed, that Chaperone needs to be nerfed because now there's going to be a too big of a gap between regular shotties and Chaperone. Now, it's okay for me to say that even though it's my favorite weapon. It's okay to look at something objectively and just say, you know what, maybe this is a bit too good right now. Maybe this could, you know, have a little nip and a tuck. You know, it's okay to do that. I just want to point that out first. So if you love using Lemon Arc, don't be like, well, what about Chaperone? Okay, I'm getting that out of the way, first of all, okay? I want to get that point out of the way. I feel like just be a little bit objective. We all love different things in the game, but we can also just look at things from, a, you know, in the cold light of day. You know, yeah, Lemon Arc usage numbers will not be that high compared to other weapons. There are reasons for that. Now, what is the, the big problem? Why are people complaining about Lemon Arc all of a sudden? Like I said, I mentioned Chaperone, right? All of a sudden, Chaperone's a huge problem now, right? Why? It's because the shotguns got nerfed. Now, why are weapons like Lemon Arc and Lawrence Driver and things like that, why are they becoming more prominent now all of a sudden? Is this just happening out of nowhere? No, it's not happening out of nowhere. Now, where's this coming from? This is my theory. Feel free to agree or disagree. Let me know in the comment section if you agree or not. My theory is very simple. Shattered Eye just got a huge nerf in the last big balance patch, right? It got a huge nerf. It's basically useless now. Shattered Eye was the be all and end all for about 12, ye 12 years. 12 oh, years? Imagine 12 months straight, right? It was the be all and end all. Every engagement in Trials was decided by Shattered Eye. It's the easiest thing I've ever seen in the game. Free kills. Free kills. Like last word, like our boy Joe over here is using, right? free kills. There's a, there's a few things in this game right now that gave you free kills. Shatter Dive though was just a different level, different gravy of free, okay? Now that, that's been removed, okay? Players who have been using Shatter Dive exclusively, they're going to turn to the next best thing. Now did you see that? Poor Joe hit me with a sniper headshot and I traded with him with Lemon Arc. Lemon Arc does burn damage. And if you stack a damage buff, like Inertia Override, it hits for 182 to the head. That plus the burn damage is enough to one-shot you. Now that's kind of obscene. I'm not really building into this. There's no build crafting going on here. I'm simply playing Inertia Override. If I kill someone, I'm making sure I don't run over their ammo, siding over it, and then banging them. Okay, 182, and I can emote you and laugh at you as you burn away, as you saw in the intro, like Thorn from D1. So, Lemon Arc is incredibly lethal. It's very, very hard hitting. The strongest bow in the game by a considerable margin. Now, let's talk about that burn damage. It takes you out of the fight for quite a long time. You get hit by the bow, and now your only real option is to just relax and vibe 
and hide because you're one shot your health is not going to regenerate and obviously there are one or two things that can counter it for example worm husk crown if you're a hunter can give you a bump to your health back you know, there's one or two things you can do maybe pop in a, a healing rift maybe but it's very difficult to fight against and now that people are using it more and more it's becoming more and more frustrating and i will talk about trials of osiris that is where the pain point arrives okay guys like last word larry over here he's not happy fighting lemonart for trials and you don't need to fight a team of three lemon arcs. you just need one and maybe two warlocks on the fire team with empowering rifts now every time the guy peeks an empowering rift he's gonna one shot you and if they don't one shot you they're gonna be constantly burning you and taking you out of the fight now sniper rifles are something of a hard counter to lemon arc but let's be fair here you have two bullets of sniper shots and you have infinite ammo on the lemon arc and it basically has very very near special ammo levels of lethality for example you've got grenade launchers that blast off a large chunk of your health this operates in largely the same way blast a little bit of health off however this is where i'm going to give Bo some credit it's not as simple as just pointing and blasting a grenade at someone there's a draw time you need to get used to the draw time timing that correctly peaking correctly Let's give it a little bit of credit here, guys. Yes, the hitboxes are huge on bows, but the hitboxes are huge on everything in this game. So we can't really talk about hitboxes. The issue with this bow is very simple. It does too much damage and the burn is too severe and it shouldn't be able to one shot with a damage buff. So what do you need to do? You need to reduce the overall headshot damage of the weapon, in my opinion. Make it so that you know, just getting charged with light or inertia override or sitting in an empowering rift is not enough to one shot with the weapon. It just becomes silly at that point. Maybe you could tone down the burn damage or just leave it as it is. But I don't see why it was so outrageous to suggest this, right? When 120 RPM hand cannons, for example, with a one damage buff in, you know, the previous metas were able to one shot you, or sorry, one shot, two tap you, right? You get charged with light or swashbuckler times one, whatever, it could just one tap you. And that was too much. And I think in a fair world, Lemon Arc shouldn't be able to do that either. With one damage buff, you shouldn't just be able to blast people in the head and kill them in one shot. I think that would be a fair change. And maybe then you would see less of it in trials because it's no longer just going to give you a cheap, quick kill, pop a rift, or even worse, use boots of the assembler and run around and just blast people and kill them in one shot. The burn damage is very, very painful as well, but that's part of the weapon's identity and I don't want to see that removed. So, in my opinion, it's not that overpowered. There are other things that are bigger issues in the sandbox. Lawrence Driver, I'm looking at you. Mouse and keyboard DMT. My very own chaperone, the last word. There are a couple of weapons that are insane right now. The Lemon Arc, as a primary weapon, just does too much right now at the moment, in my opinion and the uptick in usage is because of all of the shatter dive nerfs that's my opinion feel free to disagree let me know what you guys think in the comment section and i will see you guys in the next video one last thing don't forget to like comment and subscribe much love and peace out